It's been scientifically proven that the blue light emitting from your computer, smartphone, or tablet screens is not good for your eyes. Exposure to blue light imposes serious threats to the retinal neurons of your eyes and inhibits the secretion of melatonin, which affects the circadian rhythm, which can cause you to not sleep as well. In this video, I will show you how to set up blue light filters on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android to reduce eye strain and to help you get a better night's sleep. That's coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First off, if you're on Windows 10 and you're running the latest version of the operating system, which is slowly being rolled out right now, no third-party software is required anymore to reduce blue light on your monitors. The steps are simple. Right-click on the Start icon. Select Settings. And then System. Let me show you quickly an easier way of getting here. Go back to your desktop, right click on your desktop, select display settings from the menu. At the top you'll see a listing of all your monitors. Right below that, within the color heading, there's the option for night light, so turn that on. Then select night light settings right below it. At the top you'll have the option to turn it on now. You could leave this on all day if you wanted to. I prefer to use the nightlight setting in the evening only, so I'll turn it off now. Right below that, there's a slide bar to adjust the color temperature. I've left mine on the default, and that seems to work fine for me. The options for schedule are sunset to sunrise, or you could set your own hours. I have mine set from sunset to sunrise. That's how you set up the blue light filter, which is called nightlight, for Windows 10. For those of you that are on Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, or if you're on another version of Windows, I'll show you some options for your desktop and mobile operating systems coming up next. The best option I've used for a blue light filter on Mac, Linux, and older versions of Windows is Flux. Now I'll show you how Flux works. It's easy to use too. When you open it up, you'll see this small user interface. Select Settings. You have the option to adjust the lighting for day and night. For each of these settings, the further you move the slider to the left, the less blue light you have. You have the option to set the location for sunset and sunrise times. Also for transition speed, to set how quickly the blue light filter turns on all the way. Select the hamburger menu icon to the right. Select extras and you can use it with a Philips Hughes light system. You can make the screen warmer as your backlight dims, and it shows you some hotkeys here which you can toggle on or off. If you're on iOS or Mac, you do have a built-in option called Night Shift, but many have complained that the blue light filter is not good enough. On Mac, you may want to give Flux a try. On iOS, Flux is not available, so Night Shift is your best option. If you have an Android smartphone or tablet, there's an app that does a great job of reducing blue light. It is simply called Blue Light Filter Night Mode. When you open the app, just hit the power button to turn it on. You can just hit the toggle in the upper right corner to turn it back off. You can adjust the color temperature. The first option to the left is the best for reducing blue light. The further right you go, the worse it gets for your eyes. And then it gives you a warning that this one's not good for your sleep. You can adjust the intensity with the slider. The further right you go, the darker it gets. The screen dim slider makes your screen darker the further you move it to the right. It's a lot like the intensity slider above. You can set an automatic time for the night mode to automatically turn on and off by turning on Set Auto Timer. Once turned on, you can set the start time and stop time for night mode. Currently it's set to go on at 10 p.m. and go off at 7 a.m. This app is great for Android and it could not be any easier to use. My recommendation is to start using a blue filter option on all of your devices. Over time you'll find that you'll have less eye strain and you just may sleep better too. 
That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. In the comments, let me know if you already use a blue light filter or if you plan to start using one. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click the subscribe button for more tips, tricks, and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.